I'm done, Jenna. I'm done with you, with this family. I'm done with everything about it. I just need more fun, more excitement. Life is way too short, and I need to feel alive again. You can't just leave. What about Katie? What's going to happen to her? Katie will be fine. She has you. I'm out of here. Then what about our company? We started it together. What, are you just gonna walk out on that too? Our company? Come on, Jenna, get real, please. You know as well as I do that I'm the only one that makes this company work. He just wrote my coattail. That's not true. The whole company is my idea. Maybe so, but I'm the one who made it a success. In fact, my lawyer has drew up these documents for you. What is this? You're cutting me out of my own business? You can't do that. Read the fine print. It's already done, OK? So unless you want to fight that really lengthy and expensive legal battle, which you will end up losing anyway, I wouldn't do it. Don't fight this. I'm an important part of this company. Without me? Without you what, Jenna? Come on. I'm the only one that makes this company work. Daddy, Mommy, what's going on? Daddy's leaving. When are you coming back? I'm not, sweetie. Sorry. One day you'll understand. Did Daddy leave because of me? Oh, no, baby. It's not your fault, I promise. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go talk some sense to him, okay? Don't worry. Mike, I really <clears throat> think that we should work on... Jenna, how did you get in here? Hmm? I, I thought I told you to change the locks on the front door. I was working on it when he pulled me in here. Mm. But I'll, I'll go work on that now. Here I was, beating myself up, thinking that this was somehow my fault. All this time, you were cheating on me with our secretary? First of all, she's my secretary, okay? Second of all, I don't even know what you're doing here anyway. You're no longer in the company. I was here trying to talk some sense into you. Your daughter needs her father. Hmm, okay, let's take care of that. These are the divorce papers. My attorney drafted them this morning. You are really gonna throw away your family for some fun? You know what? Fine. I'll sign anything Good. that gets me away from you the fastest. But don't even think about crawling back to me when you realize the massive mistake you made. <laughs> crawling back to you? Not a chance, sweetheart. The only mistake I've ever made was marrying you in the first place. <laughs> Jenna storms out of the office and Mike is finally free to be with his new girlfriend. Right. Over the next several months, Mike spends more and more money on his new girlfriend. But the more time and money he spends on Laura, the less time and effort he spent on his company. It wasn't long before his company began to struggle. Clients left in droves because Mike was unable or unwilling to put in the time and effort Jenna had when she was his partner. With his bank accounts nearly depleted, Mike was no longer able to spoil Laura with the expensive gifts, trips, and nights out she had become accustomed to. And once his money ran out, so too did Laura. 
Almost out of money, Mike had no choice but to seek outside investors to rescue his company. You are hemorrhaging money, Mike. The only way to save the business is to bring in an investor. The bank insists. Well, what if? There is no what if. You have run the company into the ground. Now, I called in a favor and I did find an investor who might be willing to come on as a partner and bail you out. Okay, whatever it takes, I'm in. Mary, would you send the investor in, please? Thank you. Jaina, you two know each other? We used to be married. You're the investor? But how? When you left me, it nearly broke me. But then I remembered what I used to say to you. No matter how hard life knocks us down, we can always find the strength to get back up. So I got back up and I got to work. Started my own company. And it turned out that I'm pretty good at being a CEO. While your business has collapsed, mine has thrived. So you just came here to rub it in, basically? No. Great. So you're going to invest? We're going to be partners again? 50-50? 50-50? Well, just last year, you made it clear that I had nothing to do with this company's success. Oh, come on, honey. You know that I didn't mean that. You're brilliant. The company couldn't work without you. And besides, we could perhaps give it another shot. You and I. Oh. And you even said it yourself. Katie needs her father. Oh. Almost done in here, honey? Katie's worried about missing the previews. Honey. I got remarried to a wonderful man. Tell Katie I'll be right there. Do you remember what I told you the last time we spoke? No. I said, don't come crawling back to me. Tell the bank, I'll happily invest in this company. Okay, great. <laughs> but not with Mike as the CEO. Wait, the bank wouldn't go for that? You it's have got yourself a deal. <laughs> Thank you. How could you do this to me, Jenna? Oh, Mike, you did this to yourself. Why are you doing this? I can't do this anymore. I want a divorce. A divorce? Why? Why? <coughs> That's why. I, I didn't expect my life to go this way. You've had cancer for four years. You're bleeding me dry. I didn't see myself going through this either. But we made a promise to each other to stay for better or worse. Well, I'm done keeping that promise. Come on, Peter. I know we have our problems, but we can work things out. I'm seeing someone else. You're cheating on me. For the past year, she makes me feel alive again, unlike you. Oh, it feels so good to say that out loud. You're unbelievable. You better get a good lawyer. I already did, sweetheart. I hired the best divorce attorney in the city. And I've met with every divorce lawyer in the area. And legally, they're not allowed to represent you. My lawyer already drew up the documents. We're filing first thing tomorrow morning. This is outrageous. According to this agreement, you're left with everything and I get nothing? I am not signing that. Oh yes, you will. You will sign that paper, or my lawyer will make your life a living nightmare. 
You will be in the courts for years with a second-rate lawyer by your side. Do you know how expensive that'll be? Finish packing your bags. I want you out of here tonight. Tonight? Where am I supposed to go? I have work in the morning. I have an important client coming in tomorrow Ellie, morning. Ellie, Ellie, <laughs> I don't care. That paper says we are no longer married and you're no longer my problem. Good evening. Checking in? Yes. <coughs> One room, please. I'm sorry, ma'am. Is this that this card has been declined? Oh, no. There must be a mistake. Can you run it again? Sure. It's still not working. Give me one moment. Thank you. <laughs> did you cancel my credit cards? I sure did. And before you ask, I changed all the passwords and pin codes for our joint account. Some of that money was mine and you know it. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to get a hotel? Listen, there's a cheaper motel just down the road. They have plenty of rooms, and they take cash. Thank you. No problem. Good luck. One room, please. Uh, 80 bucks for the night. For this place? It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a last minute booking. If you do two nights, I can make it a flat hundred. Please, there must be something you can do. I've had the worst Keep night. Keep your sob story to yourself, lady. Don't like the prices, find another motel. Room 124, down the hall to your left. Okay. Thank you. Where have you been? You're late. I know. I'm so sorry. You're sorry? We almost lost the Anderson account because you weren't here. Sorry, boss. I promise this will not happen again. Oh, you bet it won't. You almost cost the firm one of its biggest clients. I gotta let you go. What? <coughs> you don't understand. Last night, my husband. I don't wanna hear your excuses. You're fired. Just hear me out. Please, just. Do I need to call security? Are you okay, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. I know we just met, but if, if you need someone to talk to, I am a really good listener. The truth is my whole world has fallen apart. The last 48 hours, my husband of 10 years left me. I got kicked out of my house. I got fired from my job. I haven't eaten in almost two days. I can barely afford to even buy that sandwich. 
is not how I saw my life going. I am so sorry. Thank you. Listen, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't picture spending my golden years in a convenience store as a minimum wage clerk. <laughs> but voila. You still look pretty happy, though. Well, my mother always taught me that everything happens for a reason. And if I have learned one thing in life, it's that when one door closes, another one opens. And I am waiting for that door to open. Uh, I appreciate the kind words. I really do. I just don't think there are any more open doors for me. Yeah, you should buy a lottery ticket. The drawing is tonight. The jackpot is over 500 million. No, I don't feel very lucky. Oh, come on, give it a shot. Your luck has got to change sooner or later. It wouldn't matter anyways. I'm down to my last three dollars. I can't afford to buy a ticket and the sandwich. <laughs> and as you've noticed, I really need that sandwich. Then this ticket is on me. Really? I insist. But you hardly have anything. Not much. My mama also taught me to spread kindness around those who need it. And I always listen to what my mother told me. Your mother sounds like an incredible lady. Enjoy. Thank you for everything. You are so welcome. Hope your luck changes soon. Mr. Jenkins, you filed a motion claiming that you have a right to half of your ex-wife's lottery winnings. Is this correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh, we were married for 10 years. Half that money is rightfully mine, and she knows it. And according to the record, you filed for divorce one day before Ms. Jenkins purchased the lottery ticket in question. Is that true? What does that matter? We're only talking about a couple of hours difference. Is it also true that you canceled your ex-wife's credit cards and closed your joint banking accounts the same night the divorce papers were signed, even a day before they were filed? It is, as I had every right to do. Maybe you can explain to me why you feel entitled to half of your ex-wife's lottery winnings which she purchased day after the divorce was final. And you made it abundantly clear that she was not entitled to any of your assets just one day before. Your, your Honor, let's just, let's just back up for one second here. Hold here's on the thing, uh, your, here's the thing. Enough, Mr. Jenkins. You were the one that pushed for the quickie divorce and the court granted your wish. That being the case, you have no right to Ms. Jenkins' winnings. Motion denied. Ellie, let's give it another shot. Not a chance. It's like you said, I am no longer your problem anymore, remember? Well, hey! Look at you, 
It's so nice to see you not crying. <laughs> so did you find that open door? I sure did. And look what was behind that door. What is this? That is your check for $50 million. Turns out you were right. When one door closes, another one always opens. I can't accept this. This is... I insist. You deserve every cent of that. Without your advice and kindness, I don't think I would have ever found that open door. You won't have to live your golden years as a minimum wage clerk anymore. I guess Mama was right after <laughs> all. Thank you. Aww. Those clothes make you look really fat. Wow, your wrinkles are really bad. You should use some cover-up to hide those age spots. You're really gonna eat all of that? Well, I was planning to. What happened to you? You used to be so beautiful, then you gained all this weight. It's gross. It turned blue. What does that mean? It means they're having a baby. <laughs> Just like we've always talked about. No, I never talked about wanting a baby. Of course you did. No, I didn't. I'm not ready to have a baby right now. I know it's scary, but you're gonna be a great father. You need to get rid of it. What? We are not having that baby. I am not getting rid of it. What are you doing? I can't do this anymore. What does that mean? It means I'm leaving, Molly. I've been trying to pretend that things are good with us for a while now, but they're not. And adding a baby to the mix just makes things worse. You can't leave. You can't leave. Our baby needs a father. I need you. Then I guess you better find a new father. Because it won't be me. Oh, please don't leave. Please. Victor leaves his family behind to start a new life. He started dating a younger woman and began going out more and more. But the more time he spent whining and dining his new, young girlfriend, the more his performance at work suffered. And he eventually lost his job. Being unemployed and broke meant Victor could no longer afford the fancy nights out with his new girlfriend. Which meant soon, he had no girlfriend at all. Then one day, he runs into someone he hadn't seen in a long time. Molly? Molly, is that really you? Victor? Wow, you look amazing. Stunning, actually. Wish I could say the same. You noticed. Yeah, well, it's been a tough year since we split up. You mean, since you left me? Look, I lost my job and lost my apartment, but Things are going to turn around for me any day now. Are you living in your car? It's only temporary. Well, it was nice seeing you, Victor. Wait, Molly. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I realized that I made a big mistake walking out on you. 
And us meeting like this, I mean, it's a sign. I want to give this another shot. This? What is this? Us. You and I. The happy couple. Oh, Victor, it is too late for that. No, it's never too late as long as two people really love. Is everything okay, Molly? Yes, everything is fine. Honey, could you put the baby in the car seat? I'll be right there. No problem, honey. <laughs> ah, I see. You had to go marry some rich guy. Actually, that's not at all what happened. I'm the breadwinner in this relationship. You see, at first I blamed myself for what happened to our relationship. I spent countless hours playing the what if game. What if I had lost weight? What if I had worn the clothes you preferred? What if I did my makeup the way you wanted? I was so determined to blame myself that I couldn't see the truth. Not until a man appreciated me for who I truly am, flaws and all. The truth? That I wasn't the problem in this relationship, Victor. You were. You spent so much time tearing me down, making me feel bad about myself and very little time building me up, supporting me, loving me unconditionally. And despite everything you did to me, I have to thank you. For what? For giving me the most beautiful daughter whom I adore and for showing me the kind of man I do not want in either of our lives. Wait, at least let me meet my daughter. You owe me that much. A baby needs her father. You're the one who said that. I don't owe you anything, Victor. And besides, my daughter already has a wonderful father. It's just not you. Look what just came in. It's the new Nike Dior's. It's the only pair we have. And the commission on them is insane. Wow, these look really nice. <laughs> if anyone's gonna sell these, it's going to be me. No offense, no offense. Excuse me. Hi. Are these the new Dior Nikes? Uh, this is a $15,000 pair of shoes. Might be a little over your budget. Plus, we only have a size 10 left. Yeah, well, that's uh, actually my size. Would you mind if I try them on? Uh, look, I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't want to waste my time. I mean, we have a clearance. You know what? It's no problem at all. You can absolutely try these on. I'll grab some nylon socks for you, OK? What are you doing? Why would you let him try those on? He clearly can't afford those. Well, appearances can be misleading. You shouldn't be so quick to judge. Look, I know who buys and who doesn't. He's gonna try them on, take a picture for his Instagram, leave like they all do. Just stop. This is so nice. By any chance you wouldn't happen to have some water? My mouth is a little parched. No! Actually, I don't. And can you please not touch these? I need to keep them clean for the next customer. You know, someone who can actually afford them. Excuse me. Hi, how you doing? Uh, do you have the new limited edition Dior Nikes? They're the ones that just came out. Oh, uh, hi, sir. Yeah, yes, we do, uh, but it's only a size 10. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually my size. Uh, may I? Yeah, yeah. Hey. It's, that's great. I mean, do you want to try them on? I'd, I'd be glad to help you. No, that won't be necessary. I'm just going to uh, buy them. This is great. Hey, uh, Beautiful. I mean, I can take these to the front for you, and would you like anything? You need water or something? Yeah, water would be great. Uh, thank, thank you. Yes, yes. I'll take these up front, and I'll box them up for you. I got the socks. Thank you so much for waiting. Here you Actually, are. you won't be needing those. I'm selling them to this fine gentleman right here. Is that right? That is right. And I cannot wait to put these babies on. Ching. Sorry. Great. I'll take these to the front, box them up for you, sir. Next time. 
Take my advice and don't try to sell to someone who can't afford expensive things. Maybe then you'll actually sell some shoes. I'm so sorry about that. I... Uh, that's okay. It's not your fault. Uh, well, we do have some new shoes that we just got in that you might like. Would you like to see them? Sure. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Here's the water, my man. Thank you. <laughs> oh. These shoes are gonna look great with your outfit. I mean, you've already got the sick threads. Now you got the kicks to go with it. Everyone's gonna know exactly how much money you have. Exactly. I mean, that's the goal. And you know what? You get it. I knew I liked you. Here, let's put it on this card. Got it. So it's going to be 15,678 on the credit card. So these over here are imported from Italy. They are handmade. I think they would look stunning on you. Oh, by the way, may I offer you some water? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah? Sure. You know, um, this store really needs some more nice people like you. Oh, thank you. You know, I just try to treat everyone the same no matter what. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. It didn't go through, that's odd. Um, l let me try again. Sometimes these meters don't work. Is there a problem? It's still not going through. Uh, do, do you have a, another card? No, it's my only card. Can you please try it again? Okay. Hey, Mark, I really need these shoes. Just want to take a picture, post it on Instagram, you know, so people think I got money. Look, I'm sorry, but it, it's still not going through. But it, it, don't worry, don't worry, you can pay with cash. Right, there's a bank right next no, to you. No, no, I don't have that kind of cash in my bank account. I mean, that's why I use the credit card. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you're wearing an Armani suit. You have to have the money. Hey, look, I, I borrowed this from a, a friend just so I could take a picture in it. Do you still think I could try these on? At least I can get a pic for the gram. Super nice. Oh, hey, you're back. How'd it go? Didn't. His credit card got declined. Took a photo and he left. Ugh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll buy them. Oh my gosh, really? I mean, yes, of course. Uh, let me go box everything up for you. Look, wait, no offense. But if my customer's credit card didn't go through, there's no way yours is going to. Credit card? Who said anything about a credit card? Yeah. I'll actually be... Paying cash. Where did you get that money? Well, I actually own my own million dollar business. I'm just coming from the gym, which is why I look like this. Oh, by the way, I'll take a size 10 in these as well. <laughs> if that's okay. Yes, of course. Uh, please take a seat and I'll box everything up, okay? Yeah, thank you. Hey, remember that appearances can be misleading. Don't be so quick to judge. And maybe next time, you'll sell some shoes. That is my daughter. You can't just take her. Daddy. Back away, sir. We have a lawful warrant. Please back away. You are scaring her. Back away right now, sir, or I'll place you under arrest. custody. Because you lied to them. You know, you know that I never laid a finger on you or her. Well, too bad you couldn't prove that in court. You're not going to get away with this. The truth always wins. You know, you should really be a little more concerned about getting me my child support checks. Otherwise, I'll have that judge lock you up, and the only way you'll see Abby is through plexiglass. How do you think I'm going to make those payments, huh? I lost my job! I lost my job because of all those false accusations that you made. Hmm. Well, that's not my problem, is it? 
You have one week to get me my money. Oh, and by the way, I had my lawyer file a restraining order against you that says you are not allowed within 50 feet of me or Abby. <laughs> please, please don't do this. I gotta be honest with you, Mr. Donovan. I'm afraid it doesn't look good. Your wife was granted full custody and they revoked your visitation rights because of uh, the accused abuse. This is a lie. I did never harm my daughter or even my wife. She's, she's making all this up. I know, I know. I believe you, but the judge felt that these photos were compelling enough to lean on her side. Unless you could prove that she's lying, it's unlikely that you're gonna win the appeal. What am I supposed to do? This is my baby girl that we're talking about here. All right, you have three months for the trial. You need to get a job and remain firm on your child support. It'll give you some goodwill with the judge. Determined to win custody of his daughter, Jeff got to work looking for a new job. But because of his ongoing court battle and the accusations against him, Jeff was met with rejection after rejection after rejection. The only job Jeff could land was working as a night shift custodian, despite his qualifications and education. Unfortunately, even after working over 60 hours a week, Jeff's minimum wage job wasn't enough to cover the child support and the bills. As you can see, I've found and maintained a job over the last several months. Despite that, you were late on three child support payments. You know, I'm doing everything I can to make these payments on time. I'm skipping meals, cutting back on utilities. These payments, they are eating up almost all of my take-home pay. Look, I empathize with you. I do, Jeff. But the judge won't. We have a court date in two days. Unless you could prove your ex-wife is lying, it ain't gonna go well for you. Can we talk? No, we can't. And unless you're here with a check, you are violating a restraining order. That restraining order is a bunch of bull. I never touched you or Abby. It doesn't matter whether you did or didn't. Of course it matters. Truth always wins. <sighs> Look where the truth got you. The only thing that matters is what the judge believes, and he believes me. Because you lied to him. Well, don't blame me for being smart enough to work the system. So you admit it, you lied. Of course I lied to that judge. I even faked those pictures of Abby's bruises using makeup. It was the best way to bleed you dry of every penny that you have. And guess what? There's not a thing you can do about any of it. You are unbelievable. No, what is unbelievable is that you still don't get it. I can admit to anything because no one will ever believe a word you say ever again. After all, to the rest of the world, you're just a man who beats his wife and daughter. Now get off my property before I call the police. Is that dad? I <laughs> thought I told you to do the dishes. But I want to see dad. Dishes. Now. Don't make me tell you again. I'll see you in court tomorrow. Oh, and don't worry. I'll be sure to tell my lawyer that you violated a restraining order and missed another child support payment.
All rise. Thank you. Please be seated. It's been brought to my attention that Mr. Donovan has some new evidence to present before my ruling. Uh, yes, Your Honor. We would like to submit new evidence proving my client is innocent. Uh, may I present it? Go ahead. Look where the truth got you. The only thing that matters is what the judge believes. And he believes me. Because you lied to him. Well, don't blame me for being smart enough to work the system. So you admit it, you lied. Of course I lied to that judge. I even faked those pictures of Abby's bruises using makeup. It was the best way to bleed you dry of every penny that you have. And guess what? There's not a thing you can do about any of it. Your Honor, there's no way of knowing if this footage is real. For all we know, it's been manipulated. Actually, Your Honor, we use this hidden camera. We also have uh, Mrs. Donovan's uh, neighbors who uh, witnessed the exchange and are here to testify to its authenticity. This is ridiculous. You, you've already ruled in my favor. Sit down. In light of the new evidence provided, the court rules in favor of Mr. Donovan, granting him full custody of his daughter, Abby. You can't do that. Can he do that? Furthermore, the court orders Mrs. Donovan to pay child support to Mr. Donovan in the amount of $950 a month. That is not fair, Your Honor. I'm not done. Additionally, the court orders Mrs. Donovan in contempt of perjury. Bailiff, please take her into custody. Court dismissed. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kate. I missed you so much. I'm never gonna let them take you again. I love you so much. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> oh.